Today I teach us how to play. And I'm going to teach you how to play whistle stop. In whistle stop, players are trying to gain fame points as they move their trains across the map. Players can move their trains in two different ways. They can use coal or whistles. When you use coal, players move one of their trains and until it hits a stop. They must finish their move in the same column or further west. When a player uses a whistle, they can move one or two stops. And they can even finish their move to the east of where they began. On a turn, players can spend up to four tokens. For my first move, I'm going to use a coal to move this train right here. I landed on a resource stop. So I get to collect a green resource from right here. One. If I were to, were to move the train and it went off the board, then I can add a tile from my own pile to the board. I landed on brown, so I got get a brown resource. Later on in the game, you may land on a special tile. This tile is the coal yard. But you collect two coal from the supply. resources on there to gain bonus points. This city costs a red and a white. When you pay the cost, you gain you gain points as shown on the tile. And you get one share of that rare Alright, I can't explain it. Ooh, the first red. At the end of the game, whoever has the most shares of each rare road gets a big point bonus. It's, if there's a tie, whoever has the lowest number share wins the tiebreaker. So it's important to get into cities early. If you can't pay the calls, then you don't get a share, you don't get the points, and in fact, you even lose points. Some other special tiles will let you trade your re resources or collect gold nuggets. Each gold nugget is worth between f three and five points at the end of the game. That can be worth a lot of points. Ah! When you reach the West Coast, some of the spaces let you pay three resources. If you have them, you can get a big point bonus. You also move your train to one of these bonus pieces on the board. These give you immediate resources, like tubes, coal, or whistles. Other spaces give you points for each share you got. But after scoring the points, you have to give up one of your shares. Each round in the game, you give out the coal or whistle tokens from the turn track to each player. The game is over. After the last round on the turn track, or after a round in which a player has gotten all of their trains off the board. Oh, I almost forgot. There's one more thing you can do on your turn. Each game, there are upgrade tiles available. You can buy up to two of these on your turn. They cost resources, but they give you special bonus. This one, for instance, lets you spend gold to gain gold nuggets. 
But that hole still counts as one of the four that you can spend on your turn. At the end of the game, you earn bonus points for the upgrades you have. But just because you buy it, it, it doesn't mean it's safe. Any other player can buy an upgrade from you. They pay the normal cost to the bank and give you one rare resource, which are red, blue, or green cubes. As you can see on your player board, you are limited to only having three upgrades. Thanks for learning how to play Whistle Stop with me. For more great dare videos, don't forget to subscribe on me too.